Intelligence Republican Texas Congressman Michael McCall, who's chairman of the House Homeland Security Committee and has been briefed in this matter. Uh, Mr. McCall, very good of you to be here tonight. Thank you. I know you've Thanks spoken with me. the Joint Terror Task Force. What is the latest? And again, for our viewers, we are attempting to avoid saying this, this shooter's name, but he has been identified as far as you know. And what do we know about him? Well, I won't say the name out of respect uh, for your show, although it has been identified. Uh, my, uh, the information I have is preliminary, but 14 uh, victims here that were wounded, uh, six in very critical uh, condition, and then four um, uh, deceased, including the shooter himself. There's been some reporting of an, another shooter possibly tied to this, although I think that's becoming more doubtful as, as the information uh, comes in. But, you know, I, I think, once again, this is a, this is a second tragic shooting now at, at Fort Hood. Uh, which is in my home state of Texas. Um, very, very sad. Uh, and there was another plot that the FBI and the ter uh, Terrorism Task Force stopped from happening that was going to blow up a Chinese restaurant with soldiers in it. So these targeted attacks against Fort Hood, but also other bases like in Arkansas and Seattle from jihadists uh, greatly uh, concern me as the chairman of Homeland Security. As the... As the Experts are looking into this man's background and trying to find motive. Uh, what have we learned? Some are reporting that this was, quote, soldier-on-soldier soldier violence. I don't know what that means. Do you know what that means and whether that, that's what they're describing this as? Well, if it was one soldier on one soldier, I don't understand the, uh, the body count. Uh, and the in innocent uh, casualties doesn't really add up or make sense to me. Uh, sometimes there's what they call suicide by cop where they go in and uh, want to be killed, uh, but we don't know really the motivation uh, at this point in time, which is obviously critical. Now, the Joint Terrorism Task Force issued a preliminary statement saying at this point in time, they don't have any nexus to terrorism, uh, but uh, I would say that's very preliminary in this investigation. It's just started, and I would never rule out that possibility, uh, particularly given the track record and the unfortunate history, not only at Fort Hood, but at other military bases. Have there been any warning or chatter, to your knowledge, with respect to Fort Hood and possible violence there? Uh, no, my understanding is no. I think had there been, I think this could have been prevented. Uh, I know in the Nadal Hassan case there was, and there was a uh, intelligence failure in that case that could have prevented that from happening. It didn't happen. I don't have information about this particular shooting in terms of advanced intelligence, but I, I would have to believe if we had it, we could have stopped it.